users in Craft CMS. So users, there's two different ways to think about users in Craft CMS. You can see them as user elements. They're part of the elements system, meaning they're kind of a fundamental uh, data type in Craft. And there's also user management. So this is giving people access to the control panel. This is putting content behind a login, that sort of thing. So it can be, there's kind of two main use cases and they overlap quite a bit. Those are kind of the two different ways to to uh, think about um, users in Craft. So as, as elements, they're part of the element system. And part of the beauty of Craft is that there's these seven kind of first class elements that all can be queried, all can be related to each other. Um, entries are obviously the most popular. Entries and assets are used on pretty much every site. You may categorize them. Um, matrix kind of goes part and parcel with, with entries globals if you need things like nav or global variables and then tags uh, I believe tags may be going away in future versions tags are kind of um, you know of these seven I, I don't think I've ever really used tags on in a real world project but they're, they're part of the seven elements in craft so control panel users you can set craft has very granular permissions on creating users and what they have access to, not only in the control panel, but you can also control um, on the front end what, what someone sees, and we'll see that in a minute. So, we'll take a look at that. And front end users, and by front end users, you mean you can set up a site that requires registration and then give people access to content based on whether they're part of a, a user group or whether they have a, a valid login or not. So, there can be a lot of overlap on whether you let someone log in and actually administer content and what they have access to you can control those permissions but on the front end you can also control whether what someone can see um, and there's some template variables and tags you can utilize to handle that wrapping up the craft CMS users to recap you can use them users relate to the user element you also we're talking about user management you can gate content and you can also relate users to different types of elements. So we've got a dummy site, I'm gonna log in here. This is our sandbox site for experimenting. And the way I've set this up, here's the scenario. Let's take a look at the users. I've created two different groups of users. There's a general group and there's sandbox users. In this scenario, what I'm going to show you is how you can first you can assign custom fields to users which is a unique feature this is great for creating user profiles so I've created these fields job title or bio and a department that the person might work in and then permissions you can select which group they belong to and then you can get very granular about which areas of the control panel that they can use so you can create different groups and assign users to those groups now you can set the registration where they'll get an email where they sign up you need to activate users an admin can do that as you set these up but let's take a look at how we've set this up so in this scenario we want to create a page on the website that shows all of the different team members so I've created the sandbox team and you'll notice here we've got a page overview which is this field here and then down below I'm listing the team out so how am I doing that that is with the sandbox team template. I'm querying, since it's an element, I can query the users and restrict it by the sandbox users group, and then I'm just outputting the fields. These fields you get for free, which is the name, username, email, those are baked in. I added job title, department, and bio after the fact. You could add an image, that's a common thing to do for a profile. You can add whatever you want. You have access to the to the field system and field, field groups field layouts within craft so this is a pretty typical use for like a contact page or an our team page about us page where you, you want to list different team members now there's a couple of other uses let's say since they're elements let's say you want to relate them let's say you've got projects for your company and you want to showcase which team members worked on a project so let's look at this project created this project description redactor you know rich text field here 
and I've assigned team members. There is a re there is a relationship field. There's a users field that you can assign and select. So if we were to view this, this is project one. See, I was able to select which team members participated, and I just looped through them here. There's this users field. I'm grabbing their name and their department. So. Looks like we've got Jane and Susan working on project one. Let's take a look at project two. Bob and Jane worked on this one. So you see the flexibility in it being an element that you can mix and match and relate things to each other. In addition to you know setting permissions for working in the control panel. Now, how else can you use this? So you can you can set it up that you can put content behind a login. And this is a little more in depth, but I'm just gonna show you a quick overview of how this works. So let's use the example of gated content. And that's just a way of saying, you need to be part of this, you need to be part of this group to see this. So you'll see here, I'm rejected. I'm an admin, but I'm not in the sandbox users group. The logic in the template is current user variable will grab your current user object and you can check if they're in the group sandbox users and show them some content. Otherwise, show them the rejected message and give them a, a login link. So I'm getting rejected because I'm part of the control panel group here, or I'm part of the admin group, excuse me. Now this login, I can't go to the login because I'm actually logged in, but the login template here, this is set through a variable called login URL. There's a login URL config object and there's or a config variable and there's also a log out. So there's you can set this up a number of different ways. Um, let's take a look at this in a private browser where I'm not logged in. So let's go to login. Bob Brown. Log in. And now I should be able to see the gated content. This is only sandbox users can see this content. So since I'm part of this user group, I can see this content. It was behind that front end login form. So that's a gated content. You have some ways within craft to check the current user and if they belong to a group. Another scenario is kind of a restricted content, similar, it's basically the same thing as gated content, but instead of checking the user, the user group, we're just gonna require a login. So if they belong to any valid user group, they can see this. So for instance, if I do this here, when I'm logged in as an admin, I'll be able to see it. If I go in here, try and hit the page in a private browser, I'm not. I need to log in. Now I can log into any group and be able to see it here. So this require login is just a generic, hey, you got to be logged in to see this. We don't care what group you're a part of. On my gated content example, and make sure you're in the sandbox users group. That's a quick introduction and overview of craft users. Once again, you have the ability with users as an element you can relate to other elements and we did that with our projects here you can restrict access to the to front-end templates by checking groups and users requiring a login for the restricted content and you can also set very granular permissions let's take a look at the user settings here for sandbox users you can see you get all these different settings on what people can see what they can edit whether they can delete other people's entries, all those sorts of things. So if you'd like for your users to be able to um, edit content, you know, as part of a team at a company, that sort of thing, um, you have very granular control over the permissions. The other nice thing when you look at users is the ability, let's take a look at the fields here. You can assign custom fields. So this you can develop really robust profiles for users. And then you have access just like you do with entries, fields, all the other elements. So it's a um, on par with the other elements. So the, this user system is very elegant for creating profiles, registration, putting content behind a login. So you can use this for a lot of things like um, almost a uh, intranet type content or stuff you just prefer, you know, not to be public facing. If you have a site that's on an internal network, um, it's a very versatile um, system. Now, it can be a little bit confusing with some of the paths, um, where you log in, where you log out, what your status is, um, but it's all well documented in the users section on the craft site.